Hello Cancers, I'm here today with a general reading for the sign of Cancers. Um, this reading will not resonate with all Cancer people, but hopefully there will be something here that will help you in your journey forward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this Cancer. If you prefer not to um, watch or listen to the shuffling, just please forward into the video to where the reading begins. That's fine with me if you wish to do that. Current energy, current energy for the sign of Cancer. Current energy for the sign of Cancer. Current story. What what story is here? What group of Cancer people do we have here? What group do we have in front of us today? What group do we have in front? I'm going to put the cards. Like this this time just because they landed so strongly in those directions all right well, I think he can go in the upright I feel like he's an upright energy let's see what cancer will be stepping into in the next couple of weeks the next three weeks the next immediate wave of energy Hard to put a time frame on it, but it's the next incoming wave of energy. What will Cancer be stepping into? What will Cancer be stepping into? What will Cancer be stepping into? Hmm. What will Cancer be stepping into, please? Cancers, all of my, there's wish fulfillment flipping over. All of my cards are in the upright in the deck when I shuffle. If they land in the reverse or they land strongly in a lateral direction, I will read it in that, I will go into that energy. I prefer to read the cards in the upright. It's easiest for me to read the energy, but um, not all life is how we prefer it, is it? Please for cancers. Guidance for cancers. Guidance, please. Yeah, those these energies are coming out just softly landing next to the deck. There's a little bit of a stronger energy wanting to come out here. Now let's look to see what this card is. Six of Pentacles. All right. The cards that show themselves but don't come out, um, we can take note of those if I feel a need to, but they're just a side note. They're, so, they're, they're a side note to the story. So that's how my readings are anyway. We all have our different ways of, of um, working with divination. So, all right. Cancer of my energy is a little off today. I don't think it is. It's, it's just really a quiet energy that I have. I have been purging um, some core core emotions, and so my energy is, is in a healing place right now. Um, I am using the Wheel of the Year Tarot. There will be an extended reading that will come after this in which I will look deeper into a few of the energies here, and I will take this scenario and move it out into... Um, through the months of March, April, May, and June. Let's see if there's anything else. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and begin.
We start with the Wheel of Fortune, a beautiful energy to be in, Cancer. A beautiful energy to be in. Something is moving forward for you. Something that you have probably have been working towards for a long time or waiting for, or have been you could have been pushing this wheel for quite some time, but there is movement now. You are experiencing new movement, new change in your life. I see the, the Page of Swords and the Lateral, which tells me that you're working your way into another energy of learning, um, a learning energy, a gathering information energy, a watching energy. This energy, since it's in the lateral, comes with a little bit of a wobbliness as you start this new experience, as time moves forward and as the energies start moving forward for you. Um, it's almost like you are stepping onto an elevator, an escalator, stepping off an escalator. Um, there's a little bit of an uh, destabilization of your balance. It comes with new mo new movement. Um, it, this is what they're showing me as you step onto um, in the airport. If you've ever been in the airport that has a um, one of those belts that you stand on and it carries you faster. So when you walk on it, you can walk much faster than you would normally walk just on a regular floor. Or let's say you step onto some kind of a platform, a bus or a wagon that's moving. You, as the movement begins, you feel a little bit of a, an unstableness with your feet on the ground, right? This can happen in energy too. And when we move forward into something new, we can feel a little bit unbalanced. So you could be feeling vulnerable. You could be feeling um, uncertainty. You could be feeling an awkwardness or maybe um, a feeling uh, that you may not be capable of this. Um, this is just pushing you. It's pushing you. It's an energy that pushes you into taking action, into investigating, into looking into something, gathering more information, whatever it is. This could be something with a relationship. This could be something with a job. This could be something with your family. And it's an energy. Um, there's something that's happened that has pushed something forward. And now there is some learning to do for the soul, some investigation to do for the mind, right? Some new bits of information to see with the eyes. Um, it's, it's engaging the body in just a little bit of a different way. Um, we have the high priestess also in the reverse. So this is really learning, digging into yourself, um, learning how to find the truth within yourself, learning how to really engage the intuition. And I'm being shown as I um, move into this energy, uh, for me anyway, when I, when I engage with my intuition, there's something that happens in the core, in the base chakra, for me anyway. Um, it feels like um, a bag of warm water, okay, if I can kind of describe this feeling um, within me, that is kind of settling, settling down in the base chakra. It kind of settles the energy. It's a kind of like a soft weight that, that kind of, um, radiates in the, the lowest chakra and the womb chakra it affects the womb chakra as well. It, it stabilizes you. That for me is, is a part of intuition. It's part of how the body feels when you're being very intuitive about something, um, where you could have a feeling, you could have a thought in your mind. Um, that thought is not going to help settle you. It's not going to help bring you peace, but it is going to bring you information. It might not bring you peace. With intuition, I feel like there is a element with clarity in the mind, um, wisdom from the, the middle of you, and then this intuitive weightiness of the womb chakra that brings a sense of peace. So there's something here in tuning into your body, incorporating the mind, body, soul, um, and, and really beginning to understand the, the quality of intuition and how it can help you. But not only intu intuition, not only your intuitive senses, but um, the guidance that you can receive from your belief system, whatever that is, whatever you connect in with, with the divine energy, um, however you bring knowledge into yourself, there is um, a new, as your, uh, there's a new, movement. There's a new movement into a stronger core essence of your internal knowingness. Um, the, I think this is something to do. This is something to do with a partner. 
or a work or a employment situation. There's somebody here, the emperor energy. All right. So we have the emperor energy here and I feel like it's a different energy. So I feel like this energy is a different energy, but it is connecting to this high priestess. This is your energy. I feel this high priestess energy. I feel is your energy. This is connecting in with a group of people. See this, the emperor energy is a ball of energy that can filter over a person. It can filter over a group of people. It can filter over an event, a situation. It can color the situation, right? It, it's a, it has a certain color to it or a certain vibration to it. So there could be a group of people here that is, that has a hierarchy. And this is an energy of a hierarchy energy. Um, the emperor energy is somebody who is in control of a situation. He prefers to be in control of the situation. He prefers to be, um, to work within a set of guidelines, a set of processes, a set of, this is how we do things. This is how we've always done things. This is how it works best. This is where I'm most comfortable. And this person does have some sort of power with the emperor energy. There is a power attached to the emperor energy. So I feel like this is a different energy here, this emperor energy. It does connect with the high priestess. So this emperor energy is influencing you and is causing you to have to learn something new. It could feel uneasy. You could be doubtful. You could be feeling vulnerable. Um, it, it's really requiring you to dig deep within yourself to ask yourself very important questions at this period of time. What do I want out of this experience? What brings me happiness? What brings me a sense of comfort? What brings me a sense of fullness and complete completeness in my life? Um, there's something here that you are doing some internal reflection. This is almost the hermit energy is what I see here. It's almost like a feminine hermit, a feminine energy energy of the Virgo energy. It's somehow here digging deep within the self. I don't necessarily think that you're in a cave though. The hermit will go into a cave, into solitude and dig deep. I don't feel like this is a solitude type of energy. This is, there's some, something happening here where you're probably not able to go quite into the solitude that you would like. Okay. Because something is moving forward. Something is changing and these energies are in flux. Right. So you are in the process of digging deep within the self to find answers within yourself. And from your guidance team, your spiritual team, your belief system, the heavens and the earth, you know, whatever you're connecting into to find guidance, to find strength. Um, you are in the process of doing that. And some of that guidance and some of that strength is within yourself, within your subconscious mind, within your heart center, within your throat chakra. Right. It comes from the third eye. The high priestess energy is an energy of connecting in with spirit, connecting in with energy itself. Now, the fact that this is in reverse tells me that you have been pushed. You have been pushed with some sort of emperor energy into this new cycle with this wheel turning. These energies must turn as well, right? So you have some sort of a turning now. So as you move into the future, um, you could all be experiencing this in a little bit different time frame. You are going to um, take much more control of this situation. You're coming into a place of, of more empowerment within yourself. You're going to be gaining knowledge, gathering facts, um, watching and observing, coming more, much more into a powerful place. This wheel turning forward could have put you in a more vulnerable place or some information was brought forward. Something happened that... Um, put you into this cycle of learning and investigation and it teetered you on your feet just a little bit. You went off balance just a little bit and it has to do with this emperor energy. Whoever this emperor is, it can be a man, a woman or a woman. It can be a group of people. It can be a, it can be a community, but this energy has an energy of hierarchy, masterdom, control, caretaking, rules and regulations right? This emperor energy. But look how powerful these two energies are when they're put together. The page of swords is powerful learner energy, allowing the ego to step aside and learning and digging into the truth of something with the spyglass and the tools, the wind that's blowing, the information that's wrapping around her. And then you'll have the high priestess is powerful. I always call it, it's the soul of the empress. I feel like the high priestess is the empress soul. 
and look how we who we have here as the emperor. So this could be a partner of yours or some group that you're working with or a coworker or a supervisor or a boss or someone that you are um, connecting with where you're having to reestablish some boundaries or bring some truth forward or set yourself into a more balanced place with whatever this event was that that happened here okay let's look into the future and see how this is going to move into the future okay i can see some of these cards with some of them fall in the in the um with the with the front down so this is a revealing for you and i temperance energy Chariot in reverse, that's you. Three of Pentacles, sort of like that. It's a good energy. Three of Pentacles is a good energy. Six of Swords. The camera angle is a little bit weird. Sorry, guys. At least you can see the cards really good. Death energy. Three of swords. Knight of cups. This was kind of like this, wasn't it? For some reason, I feel like making these cards very uniform. So this energy here is beginning to settle itself. It's beginning to write itself. As you move into the future, it's, this situation is going to settle itself in. We have temperance as you step into the next wave. So there is an energy about you. See, look at you here with the death energy, Scorpio energy, but this is transformation. Um, the death energy, when I get into this energy, this is about acceptance of something resolution of whatever that is and moving forward in a new way. So you have accepted something, you have found a solution that works for you, and you're moving forward in a new way. Because with death, even if someone dies, there is an acceptance that goes along with that. Even if a situation dies or a relationship dies or, a, or an old version of yourself dies, there is always an acceptance of that and then a moving forward in a different way. Right. And there's a little bit of sadness when I get in this energy. There's a little bit of a sadness here. So there's something here that is being left behind a bit, little bit of yourself or an, a more a, a, a younger version of yourself or a more innocent version of yourself. A nicer version, you know, like <laughs> um, because usually with the death energy, it does harden us. It hardens us a little bit. See, she is hardened here. She's passionate and she's powerful and she knows what her truth is. And there's a hardening to her, to her eggshell, right? Or to her coat of armor or her outward, you know, her, who she is. There's a hardening and it's not just her skin is what I'm hearing. It's, it's everything. It's her heart center, but it's not a hardening that's going to, it's a hardening that a hardening of her. It's a, it's, it's putting on the coat of armor, the, and wearing the, the skin of a warrioress, somebody who is a warrior in their life, right? And just because someone is a, a warrior doesn't mean that they don't have the most powerful heart. They have a powerful heart. It beats strong, my friends, right? The, the, the armor, the armor of a warrior will allow that warrior to have such a powerful inner self, such a powerful soul, such a powerful heart, such a powerful mind. It protects that, right? It protects it. So there's something here that you are moving through a transformation of, and there is knowledge here that you have that this is something that can take some time. And here we have this chariot energy in the reverse with the three of swords in the reverse with the three of swords over the top of the three of pentacles. So it's a little bit of a complicated energy. Just give me a moment just to get into this energy here. In fact, I'm going to take these cards and move them aside just for a moment as I get into this energy. Let 
Whatever this sadness is, this anguish, this pain, look how she looks directly at it. She stands next to it. It's her story, his or her. This is going to be a man or a woman. This pain and anguish, this heartbreak, whatever this is, this is the story of the death energy. So it's something that stands alongside, right? It stands alongside. But there is a... There is an intentional action now to, to not continue to go forward into this energy. This energy is falling away, is dropping away now. There has been healing here. Whatever this observation was, right? Whatever the observation was and whatever the high priestess and the princess of swords found in this internal reflection, right? These two powerful energies within you, whatever they have found has helped you to move through something that you are accepting with the acceptance of it. There is an intentional, um, stopping of moving into this energy. So you're intentionally stopping to move into this energy. So it's a, you're not going there anymore. It's, it's not a place where you are moving into and it's intentional with the chariot in reverse and it's intentional. See how these energies are in the reverse. It's a little bit complicated, but you are intention, you are intentionally not moving into this energy. Therefore, the energy begins to fall away. And when I say the word intentional as you move into the future, it is an ener- it is a word that has a certain type of energy to it that tells me it's going to take you a little bit of focus. So as you get into the three of swords, you will probably say, Oh, I'm going there again. I'm going there again. Let me distract myself. Let me, let me do something else. Let me, it's an intentional energy. It's like, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it, it's something that you have to do with your whole body. It's not anything you can do with just your mind. You have to do it with your body too. Oh, let me turn this way and look out the window or let me do this job over here or let me do this or let me do that. It's something where your body goes into action as you intentionally hear, um, stop yourself from moving into this energy and that itself allows it to begin to fall away. Now, whatever this is, this three of swords in reverse, it's next to the three of pentacles. It's next to, to this working energy. Now this working energy can be over any kind of an event. Again, just like the emperor energy, it can come in and color a situation. But the three of pentacles is a beautiful energy. It's an energy of working on something, getting somewhere, starting something and seeing it begin to flourish, seeing it manifest in your life with the three of pentacles. This is something that you have probably been working on, whether it's a relationship or it's work or a project that you have. It's something that you've been working on that you've gotten to a certain place, right? You have gotten to a certain place. Um, I like this car because it does show the energy of the three of pentacles. This is a big building. See how it's a tarp down on the floor, something to protect the floor. And this building has a big archway and this painter is painting a mural inside of the arch that's inside the bigger arch. And we can imagine that this archway is not the only archway in this building. There's probably many of these alcoves where there's going to be a beautiful mural painted. Right. But with this painting of this mural with the three of pentacles, it shows us that this painter has has learned a lot in this first episode of this painting. He has learned what kind of paints to use. He has learned how the brush strokes and the paint will work on the material that he's using. He's learned the scale of the image. He has learned all kinds of things by implementing something. And now he has something to show. He's he has entered into this project and he has learned from it and has grown from this one mural that he's painted and what he has learned from this mural he is going to take with him to the other archways as he begins to paint other paintings there okay so there is something here that is being worked on something that is being learned it has an energy of abundance it has an energy of future growth what we see here with the the three of swords coming over the top of the three of pentacles are these three energies the energies of Finding a foothold on something, finding a foothold. Um, we do have the three of the three of swords in the reverse. So there's something here that's falling away. There's some kind of pain that's falling away from whatever you've been working on. Okay, so as you move into the future, there is a falling away of the pain. 
So I think what I'm seeing is some sort of acceptance of something, not that you have to allow it to continue, but there is a resolution here that you're bringing forward. So you're coming forward in a transformed way. You know that this is gonna take a little patience here with the temperance energy. You're continuing to not move forward into the pain. To You are coming up with some sort kind of a solution here that allows the Three of Swords to fall away. When it falls away, this work then can continue with the Three of Pentacles. So that's a good energy. It's a good energy. There's a lot of strength here in this death energy. You are a master in this time, my friends. You are a master of creation right here with this death energy. This is not an easy energy. It's not an easy energy, but you are manifesting something quite beautiful because what we see here is a Six of Swords with a Knight of Cups. You're moving forward in a much more peaceful direction with the Six of Swords. This is having a balance on your thoughts, having a balance on the harmony within you, the clarity of mind. You have new, this death energy has created a new foundation of thinking. So you have peace now and you're moving forward in a, in a way that is, is feels comfortable to you. It feels right for you. It, it is um, something that your mind really understands and is put together. It could be your own ideas. It could be um, a peaceful resolution with a partner or with a work group. But there is a resolution energy here with the Six of Swords and moving forward into something that in, in a way that is going to draw you into a much calmer um, part of your river, a much calmer flow to your river here. We have the Knight of Cups energy over the top of the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Now, this energy of love, I feel it's, I feel like it's a different energy than yours, but this is your energy, the Knight of Cups. This could be an energy of love that you are in. This energy of love um, could be influencing the resolution that you have, could be giving um, more, more resolution, more energy to it, more solution, more healthy solutions. But when I get in that energy, it feels like an energy that's coming towards you. It, it's a little bit of a choppy energy when I, when I continue. This is all your energy right here. This is all your energy and see how it's moving forward. Right? It's not moving forward into the pain, but other than that, it's moving forward. It's a moving forward type of an energy, ending something here and moving forward. This energy, when I get into it, it, it's like it's moving towards you. So there is some sort of love energy that's moving towards you. Um, it's an energy that is moving towards you in love with some kind of a love offer, love to give, love to extend, love to share. Um, so there is a love offer coming towards you or an energy of love coming towards you. Queen of Cups. And I think this is going to help to heal the situation and help to rebuild whatever the situation was with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. This could be the, also, there, there could be some of you in reverse roles here as well. I feel like this Emperor here has something to do with this. I honestly do. a little bit more energy here that I need to get out. I think there's going to be an energy that meets you that is going to be a working on this energy. Let's work on this together. Let's invest in this. Let's see what we can do. The Seven of Pentacles energy is an investing, a training, um, a waiting and working kind of an energy. Um, and I think that's how you're going to be met with this solution that you have. Um, it's going to be in an energy of nourishment and love and health. doesn't have to be a love relationship, but it's an energy of love and caring. It's an energy of love and caring. There are four energies in the tarot. There's an energy of passion. That's the Knight of Wands. 
that's excitement, that's chemistry, that's explosion type energy. You have the Knight of Swords, which is truth and expression and surprise and rapid movement forward. And it's always to do with truth and speaking and expressing oneself. Right? And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is this very slow, steady, careful, significant movement forward, right? The, the Knight of Pentacles doesn't really move forward unless there's a clear path and unless there's a clear benefit. The Knight of Cups is an energy that moves forward with love and caring and nourishment. So whatever this is, there's an energy of love here. And as you move forward into this work, continuing to work on whatever this is, you have this sense of peace that is being created with this energy of love. And I think here with this Queen of Cups, um, you're able then to be fit more into who you are because this energy of the death energy is a very difficult energy to be in. It is a scorpionic energy. It is a water type energy, but it is difficult, especially for cancer signs to be in the death energy. It takes a lot of, um, it takes a lot of energy out of you. It, it's, it's something that will tire you out quite quickly. It will send you into the depths of who you are. It is required here. It is required for you. But once this energy of love is stepped back into that there is work being done on this, there is progress being made. It allows you to become much more yourself again in your, in your own energy where you feel the most comfortable, which is an energy of love. It allows you to um, fill your cup once again and begin to love and begin to nourish and begin to take care of yourself and other people in a way that brings you the most, the, the most fulfillment in life. And there's something here that you have learned here with the high priestess and the page of swords. And this wisdom is influencing the death energy, which is creating the transformation, which is allowing you to step back into who you are again, who you are mo most naturally. So it is a good energy. It's a little bit, um, the next few weeks, there's going to be victory. There's going to be peace. There's going to be stepping back into a abundant energy, but there is going to be a little bit of a, um, I don't, I don't know what you would call it, a, a swamp or a trench or something. It's not going to, I don't think it's going to be a very long one. I think this death energy, uh, a lot of the work for you is being done right now for this group of cancer people. It's being done right now. This energy as you step into the future is the energy of um, taking action in whatever you learn. So it's going to be a little bit of a learning process, but it's going to end very beautifully for you. So it's not anything to be worried about. In fact, it's very, it's very much a victory, my friends. It's very much a victory. It's beautiful. All right, let's look at the guidance that's coming forward. Tower. Yeah, we felt that, didn't we? Ten of Pentacles. Prince of, Ch Prince of Chalices. Seven of Swords. Well, it makes my back sweat, whatever this is. That tells me that there's been some real purging. Um, and it could have to do with fear of failure, fear, fear in itself, fear of consequences, fear of failure, fear of the unknown. We have the tower, which is talking about how change how devastation, how surprises and, and cracks in our foundations can ultimately reset us and, and return us to what we've been looking for. So sometimes when we feel like we're in the Ten of Pentacles, um, it can sometimes be an illusion. It can sometimes feel like it, but there could be um, some decay that's happening. Oh, they just showed me a tooth. So with teeth, sometimes there can be a decay on teeth and we don't really know that there's a de there's decay on our tooth or our part of our tooth is, is having an issue until it cracks, until it breaks, until we can start to feel the pain of it. But for a long time, that tooth could have been decaying without us realizing that's how this tower feels. That's, that's the image that they've shown for this tower. And so somehow something happened 
that affected how your safety and security is or how you were experiencing it. Um, it was something that was a betrayal. It was something that caused wounding within yourself. There was some sort of a theft or a betrayal here. Look how it's framing. We have these two energies here, framing here. And there's something to be learned and, and accepted. And um, there is a victory to be found and to be gained by these very devastating energies that we have here. Um, there is new inspiration coming into your life. There's something new here. Something beautiful is budding. It's beginning to blossom in your life. Um, it is go it is connected to the Ten of Pentacles. It is connected to safety and comfort and abundance. But somehow, if you were to stay in this energy or if you were to find this ener energy again, something had to be revealed. And that's what has happened to you in the past. Something here was revealed that allows you to reset yourself and reconnect yourself with the Ten of Pentacles energy is what they're saying. So... Um, I, I really feel like this situation doesn't have to be an epic life situation. The, these are weekly readings. Um, sometimes I feel like they could be an epic reading. They're gifts for all of you. If you're resonating, they will fit with you in a very special way just for you. I'm just the reader. I'm just the message bringer. Um, but this could be a smaller situation, a situation that's like a monthly situation or it could have happened over the last couple of months or this could be a life situation for you. But something here... Um, had to reveal some sort of cracking, some sort of decay um, in the tooth that allowed you to then to then go to work and reestablish yourself um, so you can set yourself on this path again of comfort and abundance and find that blossom that's the blossoming of life that's going to be um, coloring your lens of your life in a beautiful pink and a beautiful energy of romance and energy of wonder at the world, energy of um, even an energy of innocence, it's, it's to bring back the heart center and the pitter patter of life. Um, and, and there was something here that you had to go through in order to connect back in with these energies. Okay, Cancer, um, I am now, um, finished with the reading. Let me decide on what energies I'm going to look into here. First of all, I want to know more about this emperor energy. I want to know what this emperor energy is thinking and saying. So I'm going to spend some time with the emperor energy. Um, I'm going to spend some time with this page of swords. I'm interested in what this page of sword, this page of swords finds out. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in this knight of cups energy. I'm interested in this new inspiration here. There's new inspiration here. I think these are the four energies that I'm going to connect in with this page of cups, this new inspiration, new love here, whatever this is, a new introduction, this offer of love or this energy of love. I want to connect a little bit deeper with that. I want to find out um, what the page of page of swords is finding. What will the page of swords energy come up with and I want to dig mostly into this emperor energy and see what I can find with his energy. Okay, my friends, I am going to move into the extended now. I wish all of you a beautiful week and, um, and great success in this transformation. Thank you all very much.